Minnesota DFL wants Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump and his running mate removed off the state ballot. A lawsuit filed in Minnesota Supreme Court claims Republicans did not follow state law when choosing its presidential electors. Ashley Roberts joins us now live from the newsroom with the story. Ashley. Kim, the Minnesota DFL party filed the legal documents in Minnesota Supreme Court late yesterday afternoon. But here's the thing. There's not a lot of time to resolve this issue. State Democratic Party Chairman Ken Martin, who filed the petition in Supreme Court, said there were clear errors in the Republican process of selecting alternative electors for getting Donald Trump on the Minnesota ballot. The DFL says the state GOP did not elect alternate presidential electors at the state convention earlier this year. So the petition says, quote, after being notified that they had failed to provide the names of alternative electors by the Secretary of State's office, Republicans decided to appoint alternate electors in a closed door meeting rather than electing them. This is violation of state law. As I mentioned, time to settle this issue is not of the essence. We are less than 60 days to the general election and absentee voting starts September 23rd. As time winds down, 2016 presidential candidates Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are only increasing their verbal attacks. Go ahead and take a listen to the latest from the candidates on the campaign trail. Now, one of the biggest differences in this campaign is Donald Trump basically says, I alone can fix it, whatever it is. Think of who that leaves out. I was raised to believe that we're in this together, and together we can fix it, and that is exactly what we're going to do. That's why Tim Kaine and I are running a campaign of issues, not insults. Hillary Clinton is always complaining about what's wrong. I just watched her on the tarmac. She tried to make up for her horrible performance last night. It was a horrible performance. So she went on the tarmac and told more lies. But she's been there, remember this. She's always talking about things that she's going to do. The Minnesota Republican Party just released a statement calling the lawsuit frivolous and baseless, adding the party followed state law. The statement reads in part, quote, Donald Trump got on our ballot fair and square, and it is outrageous that the Democratic Party would actually try to rig the election this way. Kim. Okay, Ashley Roberts, thank you.